Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to use the end function. What the end function does, it converts a value into a number. Now this function was provided for compatibility to other spreadsheet programs, but there are some uses for this function. So let me give you an example of what the function actually does and what it looks like. So let's say for example we have 100, and if you use the end function, it's just n and parentheses, and the value. You can put the value inside itself or you can reference to another cell. So this cell I have here is 100. If I reference this cell and just press enter, it will bring back 100. You can see that I didn't really have to provide the close parentheses. Excel does that for me. So that's kind of nice. Now when we have a date, what Excel does with the end function, if I open parentheses and I select the date, it's going to provide the serial number of the date. The way Excel sees dates is as serial numbers. So this particular date, 1-1-2000, is represented as 36,526 in Excel's background. Now with true, what Excel is going to do is provide you a 1. So if I click there, Excel is going to bring back a 1. True and falses are 1s and zeros. So if I select false, it would bring back a 0. Now, if I have an error message like an NA, what Excel does is it just brings back that error message. Okay, so if anything else, then we'll bring back a zero. So like if we have text here, let me go ahead and do an N equal that, it's going to bring back a zero. Now, one of the nifty ways or one of the things that we can use the N function for is as a comment. So if you're very familiar with right-clicking and inserting a comment saying that this is a random formula. You can have all these, you can have a spreadsheet populated with all these little red triangles with comments. If you have a long formula and you wanted to do some commenting within the formula to help understand what the particular part of the formula is for, you, you can use the end function to provide a comment there. So the way we would do it is we would plus n. So basically if we do plus n and put some text in quotes we can say this is a random number between cell A1 and A2 and close quotes, close parentheses. What Excel is going to do is remember anything outside of these particular values if it's anything else like text it's going to make it a zero. And this formula plus zero, basically it's nothing. So that's, another, that's a way that you can use the end function is to provide some cell commentary within a formula. Uh, you can do it as a right click and just insert cells, but you may have long formulas and you want to be able to put some description on parts of the formula. And that's one of the uses that we can provide for it with the end function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.